हेलो एवरीवन इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इनफिल्ट्रेशन बेसिकली इनफिल्ट्रेशन व्हेन रेनफॉल ऑकर्स एज वी नो दैट सम अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर गेट्स इनफिल्ट्रेटेड वेयर एज सम अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर फ्लोज ओवर द लैंड वी कॉल इट एज अ रन ऑफ देर मे ऑकर डिप्रेशन स्टोरेज ऑल्सो वॉटर वुड गेट स्टोर थ्रू इन द डिप्रेशन एंड इंटरसेप्शन लॉसेज आर ऑल्सो देयर so that infiltration is one of the uh, we can say one of the loss out of whatever the rainfall occurs so we will discuss in detail about the infiltration how we can find out the infiltration loss so uh, first thing is that uh, what is mean by infiltration it is there is a difference between infiltration and percolation so infiltration is entry of the water into the soil so uh when water enters into the soil it is called as infiltration okay so whereas percolation is the movement of water under gravity and percolation starts after infiltration when there is a deep infiltration we can call it as a percolation uh abstractions so there are the different losses which comes under abstractions like uh, interception is one of the loss then depression storage so whatever the water is stored in small depressions uh, small pits so it would come under depression storage interception means suppose because of tree or because of the leaves of the tree whatever the water is stored on the tree and uh, that is that comes under the in interception because it could not reach on the ground but uh but that loss is there so it it uh, couldn't become the part of the runoff uh second third is evaporation so uh, when the from liquid state to the gaseous state when water converts because of the sun heat then it is evaporation uh last is the infiltration actually it is the most uh, dominant abstraction and that's why we are discussing on infiltration when Uh, actually as i told you that uh, flow of the land uh, flow over the land is called as runoff so whatever the water runs off so that runoff is equal to excess rainfall is equal to effective rainfall it means that uh, whatever the water after uh, meeting all the losses when uh, uh, whatever the rainfall is there which flows over the land is called as excess rainfall or that is only effective rainfall so all others are losses now what is mean by infiltration rate the rate at which water enters the ground surface and then flows downward is known as infiltration rate so its unit is mm per hour so how much uh, mm of water is entering into the soil per hour so that is nothing but the mm per hour so at the initial stage it is very high because actually it uh, need to meet the requirement of dry soil so that's why it is very high at the initial stage but after that it be it decreases and attains the steady constant value then after that what happens actually there would be the constant value we get a constant value if you if we put infiltrometer on the ground and if we add some amount of water in that infiltrometer then at the initial stage the losses are higher and then it decreases and after that it achieves the constant value maybe uh, 2 mm or 5 mm per hour so like that then there are the different factors which affects the infiltration so first factor is the rainfall characteristics if intensity of rainfall is greater than infiltration rate then surface runoff gets generated when surface runoff gets generated because uh, why the, uh, if intensity of rainfall is greater than infiltration rate then surface runoff generates how basically whatever the rainfall is there suppose rainfall is occur occurring with a particular intensity uh, suppose if you assume that intensity as suppose uh, 10 mm per hour so rainfall is with the 10 mm per hour and infiltration loss is 5 mm per hour okay 
so it means that losses are less whereas the intensity of rainfall is high so definitely in that case water will flow over the land but it is not possible second condition is given the second condition you can observe in this one in the second condition if intensity of rainfall is less than infiltration rate suppose if you just consider the opposite condition here in this con uh, condition suppose uh, intensity of rainfall is say 20 mm per hour and the losses are even more if it is 25 mm per hour then what would happen so losses are more so runoff will not get generated in this case so uh, in this way actually these rainfall characteristics affects on the infiltration then second is the ground surface condition basically uh, if uh, the contour plowing or terracing is done so in that case uh, we can observe the less infiltration even when the vegetation is there then also the less rate of infiltration would be there actually the slope is inversely proportional to infiltration rate how because if more slope is there less opportunity will get for the infiltration so water will flow directly and then uh, there will be less infiltration so slope is inversely proportional to the infiltration rate the next is the soil characteristics so as the particle size increases infiltration increases it means suppose sandy soil is there which has a more particle size then infiltration rate will be high whereas if clay soil is there then infiltration rate will be less so in this way actually as particle size increases infiltration rate increases but there is one exception also sometimes what happens uh, actually that clay soil uh, develops shrinkage cracks so when uh, that clay soil develops the sh shrinkage cracks it becomes dry and then uh, whatever the cracks are developed it is called as sun cracks and which results into high infiltration so in that case only high infiltration will be there if the cracks are developed in that particular land otherwise depending upon the particle size infiltration rate will vary then human activities cultivation of land generally disturb the structure of the soils uh, because it closes the openings and which leads into the less infiltration so in this way human activities occur uh, affects climatic condition basically if the temperature is of water is high then definitely viscosity will be less if it is less viscous more infiltration will be there so in this way temperature affects on on the infiltration rate now we'll discuss about the how we can measure this infiltration rate so for which we have instrument called a single ring infiltrometer this is single ring infiltrometer and second one is double ring infiltrometer so in case of single ring infiltrometer actually you can see water is here and it is driven into the land at a certain depth and we can measure how much is the infiltration loss so and here only two rings are there why there are the two rings because what happens suppose water goes below the ground and then there may be the horizontal flow if we put the water around this and if we just measure the readings from this then water will not flow horizontally okay so uh, what it will flow from this particular ring infiltrometer water will flow downward only so that we can calculate the accurate infiltration so that's why double ring infiltrometer is used but what we will do we'll discuss single ring infiltrometer only so with the help of these notes i will just zoom it so that this figure will help us to know the dimensions in detail so now here you can observe that uh, this uh, this is single ring infiltrometer what we have seen so in this single ring infiltrometer actually this is a ground level and it is driven below uh, which is we can say around 50 centimeter or 500 mm and uh, the top portion above the ground is around 10 centimeter the diameter is 30 centimeter or 300 mm and you can see this is the water level and when we add the water uh, we, then this infiltration will occur and we can count per hour how much is the loss here so this is one way second way is also there so what we can do we can say that this is the level 
and after one hour we should maintain this level so to maintain this level how much water is needed that we can measure by me and we can power so in this way we also can find out the how much is the infiltration rate so generally what uh, what happens so initial infiltration is more and then uh, after certain time when it gets saturated then there is a constant infiltration rate so uh, in this way actually this in uh, this infiltrometer works second thing is that about double ring infiltrometer so double ring infiltrometer you have seen so uh, this is a picture of double ring infiltrometer and we will discuss in detail about the uh, double ring infiltrometer so in case of double ring infiltrometer in just a minute so we will zoom it and we will see in detail about the double ring infiltrometer so now i think it is visible so in case of this double ring infiltrometer here you can observe so uh, below ground it is around 15 cm whereas it is open up to the 10 cm and then this is a ground level so this uh, the diameter of uh, single ring infiltrometer is 30 cm and outer ring is around 60 cm so uh, generally what happens here also in this case uh, as I told you in that figure that around this single ring uh, double ring is provided and both the rings are filled with a particular water level then what happens actually uh, when we add the water so in that case actually uh, it will get infiltrated even through this also it will get infiltrated but the possibility is that from outer side only that infiltration will occur uh, horizontally here they, there is no opportunity because that uh, here already the water is there and it, this portion is saturated so it will go downward only and we will measure the quantity of the water from this only how much we have added to maintain this constant level or simply we can measure how much is the loss okay in terms of depth so in this way per hour how much are the losses that we can find out and these are the dimensions so 30 centimeter and 60 centimeter for single ring and double ring infiltrometer so basically in this way we do find out the infiltration but there are also drawbacks in the uh, infiltrometer the single ring or double ring infiltrometer so what are those drawbacks that we will discuss uh, right now so there are the different drawbacks like uh, the soil gets disturbed to some extent when the tubes are driven into the soil and there may be the lateral flow in case of double ring infiltrometer as well and even it is more in case of single ring infiltrometer and when you know rain, rainfall occurs so whatever the effect of rain drop is there on the impact of the soil so that it was that is not actually taken into consideration and uh, experiments cannot be conducted on soil with boulders so that is also uh, the loss that is also the drawback so um, basically in this way uh, so so these are the main drawbacks second is actually there is a formula to find out the infiltration uh, how much is the infiltration so generally this Horton's formula is used uh, so to express the, how much is the infiltration so f is equal to fc plus f0 minus uh, into e raised to minus kt so in this formula you can see this fc is the final infiltration rate in centimeter per hour f0 is the initial infiltration rate and this t is the time so for particular time how much is the infiltration that we can find out very easily and from this also you can observe if t is 0 you can put the value of t is equal to 0 here you will get the e raised to minus kt is equal to 1 and if you put e raised to minus kt is equal to 1 then definitely f is equal to fz f0 means initial infiltration in the same way when you put the value of t is equal to infinity you will get f is equal to fc so uh, this is all about how we can find out the infiltration so next lecture we will discuss about the infiltration indices.
so this is all about the infiltrometer and how can we find out the uh, infiltration so, thank you